What's up everybody? It's Brandon with Low T Nation and this video guys is a serious one. Okay, this is an announcement that is going to change the protocol dynamic for all of our patients and I'm probably going to put this on YouTube just so other guys know um, what to expect and maybe what to talk to your doctor about as well. Um, if you've watched any of our content that we've put out over the last year, you know most of it's HCG centric. Uh, this is not unlike the rest of it, but this is the last one and um, regarding HCG because at this point HCG is a dead product. Um, the back story on this is a year or so ago the FDA said no more production of um, HCG at the compounding level and um, it threw the market into a tizzy with HCG. The commercial lines were not ready for that demand. About 80% of the HCG bought and sold in the country was produced at compounding levels and so when that was gone the commercial market literally was just upside down they couldn't get inventory they couldn't get it produced also this was during covid so there was distribution issues um, it caused it to short across the country tremendously it went on the short list effectively um, of course prices skyrocketed you could get this stuff for a hundred dollars a year and a half ago um, now with a good rx coupon and you're as a guy your insurance isn't going to cover this with a good rx coupon it's over 300 bucks as a national average right now um we knew this was going to happen at some point we were hoping it would be another year or two down the road um we have a better option but change is just never easy for some people right so we're kind of just avoiding it until we had to deal with it. Well, we have to deal with it. Um, the reason that Hollandale was able to produce it up until this point is that they sued the FDA regarding this decision and they appealed it. And so during that appellate state, they were still allowed to legally you know, manufacture it and ship it um, until that case was over, right? And so they had lawyers involved, they, you know, they were pursuing it legally. Well. The FDA said, cool, you're doing the right thing. You know, you're following the letter of the law. Everything was great. The FDA even inspected them a few weeks ago. Not a word was said about the HCG production because it was above board. But they started getting pressure from state pharmaceutical boards because the state pharmaceutical boards tried to fall in line with the FDA and they were getting pressure. And um, they just finally said, look, it's not worth losing business in certain states. You know, Hollandale works in almost all 50 states. It's not worth losing you know, state licensure uh, because of one product. And uh, they weren't even sure they were gonna win the battle with the FDA anyway. So it was in their best interest just for um, all the reasons just to kind of pull the, the, the production on HCG. They let us know a couple weeks ago. Uh, this is something guys we knew was coming. Okay, so we've been doing a lot of research. We've had guys on Gonadarella and Kispeptin, you know, probably, you know, a couple hundred of you guys listening to this are already on alternative products. Um, without a doubt, the product that is performing the best, and this is not just in our research, our stuff is anecdotal just because we don't have the sampling size of thousands and thousands and thousands of patients to put through legit medical studies, right? So it's all anecdotal, but it's obvious from an anecdotal perspective, but it's also obvious in actual research, okay? The product that we're switching over to is called n clomiphene citrate. Not to be confused with clomiphene citrate, more um, commonly known as Clomid, even though they both work the same way, there's a significant difference that makes the n clomiphene a good option for long-term use and the Clomid a bad option. The half-life of Clomid is roughly six days, okay? Um, the half-life of n clomiphene citrate is 10 hours. So if you're taking two, even one Clomid a week, um, those estrogen receptors, now these are both called selective estrogen receptor modulators. What they do is they sit on the estrogen receptor, but in what's called an antagonistic manner, which means it doesn't do anything. It just sits there. No estrogenic activity happens. In fact, to sit on an estrogen receptor, you have to be an estrogen, right? Make no doubt. But Clomid gets called a, an estrogen blocker all the time. And the reason it is, even though technically it's an estrogen, it sits on that receptor and it doesn't do anything, no estrogenic activity occurs, but it also blocks other actual estrogens from getting on that receptor and performing estrogenic activity, okay? That fires the body up as far as testosterone and sperm production because the body thinks it's completely out of estrogen. Even though all the receptors are taken up, they're just cones in the spaces. Nothing is happening. So the body's freaking out going, I am completely out of estrogen. So it upregulates testosterone production and sperm production and seminal fluid production. Um, all of this occurs at once. Also, DHEA, progesterone, pregnenolone, 
But the problem with Clomid is it just stays on those estrogen receptors. Your body needs estrogen, big time. And if you look at it, if you've watched our, our you know, message over the years change, we used to say we want estradiol somewhere between 20 and 30, and now we're like 30 to 50. You know, wherever you feel the best is kind of where you want, where we want you. Obviously not at 90 or 100, but it's like we, we want good, healthy levels of estrogen in the body because your heart, your brains, your bones, the endothelia in your arteries, they all need estrogen and a lot more tissue. Your liver needs it. Um, so we can't just block it all the time. In fact, the only time we give guys Clomid straight out is for family planning purposes, and that's short term. We won't do that more than just a few months, okay? But again, what's more important than trying to have a, a child, right? So... Um, terrible long-term, good short-term drug, right, for fertility purposes, but terrible long-term. Well, enclomiphene comes along, it's got a 10-hour half-life, which means effectively a day and a half to two days and it's gone, okay? And that allows those receptors to open up and actually get estrogen, performing those estrogenic duties, you know, and utilities that we need in order to stay completely and optimally healthy. So, um, it's the best of both worlds. When we take the enclomiphene citrate for like a day and a half or so, our body's freaking out going, man, I'm completely out of estrogen. And it upregulates. Testosterone goes up, sperm goes up, ejaculate volume goes up, DHEA, progesterone, pregnenolone, all of that goes up. And that's what we need. We want our testicular function preserved and taken care of because especially you guys with low T, me included, when you don't have as much anymore, it becomes more important to preserve it, right? If you're rich, you don't have to worry about where the last thousand dollars went. If you're broke, a thousand dollars, you need to manage it, right? You need to know exactly what's going on with it. So those of us that have low T, we're broke when it comes to testosterone. We can't be taking chances with our testicular health because we don't have a lot to play with, all right? So the enclomiphene, we're taking 12 and a half milligrams twice a week. In the first couple months, guys, you might get 25 milligram pills. Um, it's just a supply and demand issue right now. It's not a big deal, but eventually, in a month or two, we're gonna have everybody on the 12.5 milligram pills twice a week. That's gonna allow your body to kind of freak out a little bit and go, man, give me some testosterone. And it's gonna produce testosterone, sperm, it's gonna upregulate estrogen production a little bit. You're gonna stay on the same anastrozole dose, okay? We're not gonna play with that. Um, but the only difference on lab work that you should see is that LH and FSH, are gonna go up, right? They used to be way down and we would give you HCG to mimic that luteinizing hormone. Um, now they're gonna be up, they're both gonna be up and that's gonna take care of, your body's naturally going to be stimulating the testicles to take, take care of that testicular health. Another good thing guys, the FSH flag is gonna be up. That's gonna stimulate Sertoli cells in the testicles to do more than they were doing before. So you should see a little bit of an increase in size, not much, they were being stimulated before. You just need trace amounts of FSH to stimulate um, the Sertoli cells, but this is gonna be a lot more stimulation. You're gonna feel an increase in testicular size, ejaculate volume, seminal fluid. That makes a profound impact on the quality of the um, ejaculation for most guys, okay? So orgasm intensity for most guys is gonna go up tremendously on this. That's never a problem for anybody. Um, and the other thing too that we love about this is None of the side effects, very, very, very few of the side effects associated with Clomid actually come through with the enclomiphene dose the way we're gonna do it because the side effects from Clomid aren't necessarily the drug. The drug's doing what it's supposed to do. The side effects are because the body's starving for estrogen and it needs estrogen. Clomid's sitting there going, nope, you can't get it, right? It's doing its job. It's, it's not what's making you feel bad. What's making you feel bad is the estrogen can't get on those receptors and do all the stuff that it needs. And again, it's a required hormone to feel well um, in the body. So the enclomiphene cycling on and off, no estrogen, plenty of estrogen, no estrogen, plenty of estrogen. It's the best of both worlds. It's gonna stimulate our testicles to do the work it needs to do to stay healthy. And it's gonna go off, right? And give us the estrogen that we need also to be healthy in all the other tissues in the body. The other benefit to this, no refrigeration, no mixing, smaller shots. We're not gonna be drawing up the extra half of an ML each week. Less bruising, if you guys are prone, if some of you guys are prone um, to bruising, there's gonna be less of that. Um, also, our guys that struggle with gyno, you're already on this, right? That's the solution. Our guys that are already on Clomid, we're just gonna switch you over to the end Clomiphene. And of course, everybody that's on HCG or gonadarellin right now, we're also gonna switch over. But God, you know how we work. 
right? If you insist that, hey, I want to stay on gonadarellin, gonadarellin works. It's just not as good, but if you some, for some reason feel better, you know, we listen to our patients. We work with you. We don't just tell you what you're going to do. Uh, we, we collaborate with you and we listen to you, you know, as far as taking care of you go. So this is a big deal, guys. If you want to be on one of the other products, okay, um, you got to let us know, okay, because we're making the command decision just to switch everybody over because from our perspective, from the research, for, again, from our anecdotal experience, um, it's a superior product. So we want to take as, as well, uh, you know, we want to take the best care of you guys as we possibly can. We're going to put you on the best product, okay? But if you're, then look, there's outliers with everything, right? If you truly feel better on one of the other products, we'll give it to you for sure. You know, obviously not HCG, but one of the other products. So just let us know, okay? So starting now, guys, this week, it changed. We don't have access to HCG anymore. You will see the, the enclomaphenes. I think the first month or so, we're going to have to send out the 25s. After that, Hollandale is going to have the capacity for us because we're, we're not trying to go heavy with this. We want it to be out of your system in a day and a half. We want to use those 12.5s. Um, you'll see that very soon. So my email address, guys, is brandon at lowtnation.com. If you have any questions, about this, don't hesitate to hit me up. If you want to be switched over to one of the other products, um, call our number, it's 866-349-5698 or 866-FIX-SLOW-T. Um, I appreciate your guys' flexibility. I appreciate you guys willing to work with us. This is something that, again, we knew was coming, but we tried to you know, hold it off along with the help of Hollandale. They were ninjas um, keeping this change uh, you know, as far down the road as possible, but we're here and so we have to accommodate. So guys, I appreciate you guys. We'll talk to you soon. Have a great week.